guys, Simply Betty here. So today's not all that exciting of a day. I've had a pretty busy day just filled with chores and my spring cleaning I've been trying to do, but I'm gonna try to have a little bit of an interesting vlog, right? Can I make it interesting? This is interesting. These are two fry tanks of mine that are absolutely filled with algae. Nothing wrong with that, it's not a bad thing. I like to reiterate that these tanks aren't dirty, they're just filled with algae. Um, I have put this light on a timer so I'll stop forgetting that it's on, that way uh, my photo period's a lot less. Hopefully I'll be able to prevent these algae outbreaks because this is just crazy. So let's clean this. Oh, to clean this bad boy, I just, I have this piece of sponge that I use that works really well. I sterilize the sponge whenever I do sterilization fish room and I just get it wet and go to town. So much better. That's better. Besides the hard water stains, that is much better. Now I'm just doing some draining and refilling and doing my water change. The water's murky, obviously, because I just did a water change, but there's no denying that these little babies are going to be very pretty. I added some floating plants into these tanks to help maybe take some of the nutrients out of the water and prevent all this algae. This is frog bit. What else can I do while these tanks are filling? Let me think. That's pretty hot in the fish room, you can probably tell. I've been putting so much effort just into doing things. I and and taking video, I haven't really had any time to actually put the videos together and edit it into something that looks nice. So maybe for today, I will give you guys a sneak peek with some of the projects that I've been doing in my spare time, the things I've been having fun with. The first of which is a recirculating betta rack. Now it's not done yet, I was waiting on a few plumbing pieces in the mail, but I made myself a grow out rack back here that can fit, right now there's 48, that is on here growing out. Um, it's hard to show just with my phone, but it's going to be pretty dang cool once it's done. So it's, here's the sneak peek for that. Yesterday I showed a glimpse of this little aquascape in this really nice rimless tank of mine. Um, it's not quite to where I want it yet with the plants. I would really like plants to be covering all of this aqua soil. However, my Benamaha chai had a bunch of little babies in here, so I have held off uh, plans for this aquascape for now. Now this is just my Mahachai baby rearing tank and I'm totally okay with that. I have some Val back there. I have some Crypt Spiralis. I have some Ludwigia Red Mini which doesn't look so hot right now and also some Crypt Lutea. I have a uh, algae covered, oh what is that, Anubius Chili, a really interesting Anubius Nana Petite variation and also some Busa Philandra. And back here, I have some really not so happy uh, swords of some kind. Pinwheel swords is what they're called. This is out in my garage. What is it? It's big. It has two 75 gallon tanks on it that I got sweet deals on, uh, even though one's leaky and I have to fix it. This is going to be a breeding for profit shelf outside that I thought it'd be really fun to do because I managed to get these big tanks for a pretty dang good deal. I'll be able to document it from the very beginning and show the startup costs and how maybe difficult it is to do a breeding for profit setup, but how it is doable. What the heck is this? This back here, let me flip the camera around. This is another experiment of mine that I haven't really told anybody yet because I've been waiting to see how it goes before I share it which will be really soon. It's an immersed, as in grown out of water, aquatic plant setup that I'm testing. I'm just having fun with it in this 40 gallon that I had a sweet Craigslist deal on. I'll be making a video about this soon and the different plants I have in here and the before afters of about three, week, three or four weeks of growth and I'm excited to do that. That'll be a lot of fun. You've been following along with my daily vlog challenge. You might know I got a 40 gallon breeder at uh, Petco. I got this at Petco. And that is going to go on this nice little rack of mine down here on the bottom shelf. I'm going to fiddle around with the shelves. I will have two tanks, probably one with some kind of fish in it and one maybe with these plants because I'm having fun. So there are some quick fun updates of some of the projects I'm going to be sharing soon. I hope that was a neat sneak peek because I didn't really have anything planned today that I was doing that's fun. 
These are my dogs. They're super annoying. This is Phoebe. She likes to eat rare and expensive aquatic plants when I'm not looking. And this here is Bubbles. Bubbles is just Bubbles. They're pretty sweet dogs when they're actually behaving. Isn't that right, Phoebe? Bubbles. Bubbles. Hey, are you a pretty good dog when you behave? Sit still and look nice. Sit still and look good and nice, please. Just sit still and look nice. Okay, hey, okay, stop it. Ah. I'm going to end this video on a puppy note. Hey, oh my gosh, guys, can you just be nice? Just be nice for two seconds, please? I'm going to end this video, guys, on a puppy note, because why not? Who doesn't love tiny little dogs beating each other up? Thanks for watching my daily vlog challenge. This is day number seven, I think. I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably with something more interesting. I'm bringing my lizard to the vet tomorrow, so that might be neat. I'll bring the camera along. Have a great day.